Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Golgothan, and welcome back to another episode of KSP with Mods. In this episode, we are going to take our asteroid um, deorbiter that we have up in orbit. And I hit my computer a few times. There we go. Just vibrations causing that. Anyway, so let's zoom out. Here we go, we've got some things. So this one's gonna be coming in. Let's see if we track it. Track object. Okay, so that's there. Nope, here. Bam. 88 days. But if I track this one. Oh, this one's much more. 189 days. So this 88 days one, I think this is going to be the one we track. This one. Alright, so this one I can untrack. Bam. Stop tracking. Just this one. <coughs> okay. So 88 days we will have our intercept window. So let's time warp. Let's see. Let's do that. And wait. Oh my goodness, my computer is really annoying me right now. Ugh. Alright, let's slow this down. There, put a cable under it. Then at least when it vibrates, it's not vibrating on concrete. Okay. So what do we got for time left here? We've got seven days. We got a week. So let's get that under a day. Oh my goodness, three hours. That's definitely under a day. So let's go to here. Asteroid lander. Is that what I called it? Is that what I intend to do with this thing? That's right, I have a bunch of parachutes on it and stuff. Alright, let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's right. This thing's awesome. And those are asparagus staged, correct? I believe so. So now... Now we need to set our target as this asteroid. Set as target. Okay. Look at that. Alright. So we need to do a pretty insane phase change. So there's one really easy way to go about doing that. So once we get to... Let's see. Here. Add maneuver. Burn that way. That should be good, and then we will add the maneuver here for the phase change this way. Just gonna keep pulling it. That phase change. Look at that. Okay, so where's this? Okay. Obviously, I can slow that down a little bit. Don't need that much. And. This way? No. This way. There we go. Try to get this as close as I can. This way. 16. 15. Let's 
Eleven. Ten. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Can't see. Three. Two. One. Oops. Oh, whoa. All right, so one degree is good. I'm gonna stick with that. All right. So it's, we're planning our burns now. Okay. There we go. Do we have a decent amount of modern propellant? Kinda do. Well, let's find that node. Wow, I, I should have put some uh, SAS on these things. Do I even have SAS? Oh yeah, right there. And at the bottom of the big piece, right? He... No? I don't have a second one? Oh. Oh no, it'd be here. There it is. And there's the node coming up right there. So, the reason I'm doing the burn the way I did is you've seen me do these kind of burns before. Whoop. Where... That... Oops. The engineer just... Oh, there it goes. Alright. Um, <clears throat> when I do these plane change burns, I normally do them like straight from here and I try to turn it. And it would probably take like a thousand delta V to do that. So by, I watched, saw somebody do this online, um, where they extend their orbit out like this and then make their changes out here because the gravitation or the gravitational pulls are uh, less, so you have way more control over your changes of plane. Saves you a lot of delta V if you need to make a change like this. more. I don't know how long I'm going to have to burn for 600, so I'm just going to do a quick little... Okay, so it's going to take me about a minute and a half. I'm still having really bad frame rate issues. Don't know why that is. I didn't used to have such bad frame rate issues. I guess this this ship does have a decent amount of parts, but still. Like, I'm at three times time warp, and it's going at normal speed. And out, out, out. that point we can hit our stop there uh, smidge more oh come on get up there 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 we go Bam. Now we line up for that node. Alright. 
there, and a lot of physical time warp, and add an alarm for the node one minute before is good for me, and I will ride this guy out. We. And this is actually the first time I've used two maneuver nodes, like a maneuver node on a maneuver node. I've never done that before. Alright, and... Burn. Like, I think it's because if I come out of map view, I mean, look at this thing. I mean, that would cause a, a lot of frame rate issues. Like, how many engines is that? 6 times 3 is 18, plus one more. 19 engines all going at once. Physical time more. how hot they're getting. I'm a little worried about that, but we'll see what happens. We might lose some engines here. Clean escape for those parts too. Those are gonna be hard to recover. There we go. Check mark, and that gets rid of the node. This is our debris that's going to be in this orbit right here. So actually, it comes down somewhat low when we want to intercept it with our debris discarder, which we still haven't used. Okay, so let's do some time warping. It's nice because we are so far out, we can time warp pretty fast. And how's our inclination? 17. Alright, I'll do some inclination changing from here. Go this way? Nope. This way. Bam, like that. Final changes to the inclination. Bam. Find that node. Add alarm for the maneuver node. So, some exciting news. Um, I. A couple weeks ago, I had received a message in my YouTube inbox. From N4GTV um, inviting me to join their network. Um, and that was exciting. I did a lot of research. I didn't go into it blind with my decision. And I did a lot of research. And I determined it was probably best for my channel um, if I were to join said network. So I sent in my application that I think the very next day. And yesterday, I received an email accepting my application. So I believe that means I am now part of the N N4GTV network. Um, I'm like 90% sure. 
I like signed a contract and filled out tax information, all that stuff. So I think that means that I am now part of that network. I am. I will learn more about it, obviously, as uh, I become more acclimated. But for now, it's just exciting to know that uh, I was even invited to be part of that network. And I'm excited to see what uh, what's to come of that. Making the burn. I know some of the benefits of joining the network are uh, uh, different, like, specialized ads and... Uh, um, they'll put my videos on other, like, areas, like other websites and whatnot. Um, the goal is, you know, just for more viewers. And if they can bring me more viewers, then I'm glad to join them. A few seconds left in our burn. so loud. Alright, and... Kill it. I am. Let's say that's pretty good. What's that say? 0 0.1. I will accept that. I accept you. Alright, so I want the intercept to happen over here. Still have a ton of Delta V left. Seven and a half minutes of burning. <laughs> okay, so let's ride this out a little bit. And let's asteroid come in a little bit more. Wow. In the sphere of influence, why is it taking so long to get here? Alright, well, let's see if I add for closest approach. Okay, so it's gonna be coming up soon. And it helps that my orbits are long. So I want to probably burn from here. Try to get out. There we go. I want my intercept to start happening over there. So just burn straight opposite. Try to get as far out as I can. Oh, what was that? Well, it's past me at that point. Wow. How close can I get it? 74 kilometers? I'll accept that. Things gonna be moving so fast out there. Ugh. Add alarm for the maneuver node. Back over. Time warp. This is exciting. A little more warping just to get a little bit closer to 30 seconds.
Ooh. Everybody's got the same instruments. It's fine. Okay. Follow on here now. What's my intercept? 400 kilometers? That's okay. Because once I get up there, it's going to be all about setting that. Um, yeah, it's not going to be over here by the time I get there. Look at it. Here it comes. It's moving... Actually, not as fast as I expected. I want to get to about here, and then I want to make my big velocity change. We're going to try to the apoapsis. A little bit further. Here, add alarm. Apple apps. There. Okay, close. Now, switch this to target. Let's see. Target should be. that way all right but I am moving right towards it so I want to get in its path, basically, and then make my path its path. Okay, on fuel. Ride it out a little bit more. Don't know why I'm not getting a rendezvous anymore. There we go. Run it out just a smidge more. This is intense. You guys may not think so, but I certainly am like really worried about this. Much speed with this guy. 
And how far away is it? 700 kilometers right now. Jesus. That big explosion was scary. Okay. So can I see it behind me there? No. to aim almost directly at it. See if I can't get myself a, another rendezvous. There. Two hours, we'll be 30 kilometers apart. Go. Okay. I'm excited to see it up close in person. to about <clears throat> well 70 meters per second is not much change I need to take care of so we'll get it to there and we will See how close we get. This is cool. Watching that number go down is nice. Oh! We're gonna get draw distance. We're absolutely gonna get draw distance. Oh man. We are legit coming right up on this thing. It's five kilometers away from us. Eee! Kind of geeking out a little bit right now. Just make sure I'm moving towards it. Okay. Oh, I can see it kind of. Glistening. There it is. Oh, exciting. Okay. coming right towards us or we're moving right towards it or we're moving towards each other okay now let's kill 
all the rest of this relative velocity. Flip around. See if we can arm this guy. Yeah, armed and ready. Okay. Let's move towards it. There it is! What an exciting thing to see. Oops. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, I gotta pull that back up. So I can make sure I'm pointed right at it. Slowly. We got it? I think we have it! Let's see. If I turn. Look at look at it 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 Whee! That's awesome We caught an asteroid now we have to try to land it but we caught it Yay Okay Enough fun Now, now we need to land. Okay, so, zoom out. There we go. What is our current trajectory? So we need to prograde slightly. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot harder to control now with this big old asteroid attached to the front of it. Okay. Can I untarget this? Oh, nice! Okay, target center of mass. Perfect. And then rename asteroid. We'll call this Kerbal One. Bam. All right. So let's point us prograde here, see if we can't push our uh, push our periap. Jeez! I hate when that happens. Alright, we're gonna lose some engines here shortly. But I wanna get Okay, that's not doing what I want it to do. I want it. I want it to go this way, so I can get a periapsis. That's actually a great periapsis, so let's find that maneuver node. Eek! I still love it. It's attached to the front of it like a big nose. So if I 
Get rid of that. Still no periapsis. Put it at 40. There. Now our good friend arrow breaking. Actually, we need to turn. I want to point us. I'm surprised we still have this much fuel left after all that. But we're going to burn up a lot of fuel during this landing. Retro is not what I want to point, though. I kind of want to, I want to point prograde. Which I think I was pointing, so... Dumb me. There's our engines. Oh, that's right! They're little probes! I forgot about that! I can land all of those. Well, let me do them real quick here. Ah, no connection. Wait, let me see. Do I have an antenna on this somewhere? There. Come here, antenna. Oh. Activate. Now let's see if I can control these. Still no connection on either of them. Okay, that's fine. We'll just get them with a uh, space debris later. And we will land this beast. And actually those last engines I just have will uh, land on their own. These guys. Man, we are moving fast. We got 30 minutes to periapsis. Alright, here we go. We're in the atmosphere, and we are cruising at 30 kilometers per second. Per second! Let's find prograde. Actually, no, I do want to point retro. What am I well, I'll point prograde so that the entry effects burn the asteroid, not me. Alright, so we are going to be dipping down to 40 kilometers, I believe, correct? 40 kilometers. And hopefully that is enough to arrow break us in quite a bit. If you remember in, that la in the last KSP career video, um, I did not take us down low enough and it did not do very good for arrow breaking here's the thing though if we don't arrow break properly okay there we go <laughs> like, if we don't arrow break properly we are gonna have a problem so let's go surface where am I now in comparison so I am still not at the periapsis there's great arrow breaking still not there we making fire yet? No. We're still moving super fast. So we will probably have to make one more lap, maybe? Where is this? 12 million? Looks like we're gonna have to make one more lap, which is not a big deal, because... Um, look how much it brought us down on this one. On this lap around, so... I'm okay with that. It's not going to be like that KSP career video where we had to do it like 60 times. Do you want to stay in time warp though? Look at that. That brought us down quite a bit. And then the next one we will most certainly land. Get us up over our number. I'm excited that we caught an asteroid. Get us out of the atmosphere so I can time warp us all the way back around. And who knows, maybe it'll actually be on the light side of the of Kerbin at that point. No, we'll still be landing in the dark. Well, it'll be, we'll have like a sunrise kind of.
Alright, warp us in. And just watch this Apple Apps just, just crumble. You can watch it crumble from here. It's at 4 million. Three million, uh oh. Alright, our apple apps is two million. I don't wanna take one more lap. We might have to though. Did not see that coming. I really thought well I guess it's a lot easier to bring it down from those really high altitudes initially, I suppose. I suppose. We let's get out of the atmosphere and make one more orbit. And then we try to land this thing. <laughs> I'm a little worried about trying to land with an asteroid. Time warp. We. Alright, should be the last orbit, at least it better be. We might land at the South Pole. Alright, bring this boy in. I save all of our fuel for our uh, landing. Under a million. What's the periapsis? 38. Look at it shrink. Shrinkage. Oh, you're gonna put me into like a, like a 100 kilometer orbit, aren't you? Don't do that to me. I don't wanna do one more orbit. We might have to. We're getting out of the air, out of the atmosphere more. Four hundred kilometers. I don't think that's gonna come down below three hundred. Probably not even below three fifty. Yeah. Shucks. All right. <clears throat> Getting better at arrow braking though. I mean, if you consider how ridiculous that orbit was. Let's come on, music. Oh, that's another thing. With uh, having access to N4G TV, they are actually part of Maker uh, Studios, and I then will have access to all of their royalty-free music, which means I can probably turn the game music off. Or I probably will do that. Um, cause I did run into some issues at one point. I got, uh, a message, uh, saying one of my KSP videos couldn't be monetized because of the music in it. Which was this music right now that's playing. So, I'll use the royalty-free music that they have to offer at Maker Studios. And, uh, that should solve that problem. Alright, this is gonna absolutely be our landing orbit. There's not a chance of it not being... I guess it could be a crashing orbit, but I don't like to think of it that way. Okay, so these ones go off at 5,000. These ones, oops, these ones go off at 2,500, and these ones go off at 1,000. I don't think these ones are going to work very well. Apoapsis is below 250. Yep, there we go. Now I want to point us retro. Well, no, I still want to point prograde because I want most of the burning to happen on the asteroid. A little wobbly. Oh, that's a landing trajectory. Alright, let's take that out. Alright, let's see these entry effects on this asteroid.
We are still moving so fast, but hopefully entry effects will solve that problem. There they come. That's all about. Look at that asteroid burning. Right, let's see how we're looking. Oh, that was my solar panels just went flying off that I totally forgot to retract. But that's okay. Everything else seems to be holding well. I think it's time to point ourselves retrograde. Pretty soon, at least. We're looking at a water landing. I don't know, looks like we might try to land on land here. What's that? Ender debris. Oh, probably part of my solar panels. Okay, now we are really putting on the brakes. I wonder if I landed on this tiny little lake here. Okay, and that there. So far, so good. Put the landing gear down. Drop these tanks. What's that all about? I don't know what's happening, and I'm scared. I'm just putting my center of mass here, so can I zoom out and see? Can't see anything. Can I can still control it? I have no idea what I'm controlling, but it's something. it up and I'm just gonna follow these numbers and hope that they're right I don't know what's happening I don't know! What is happening? Game! Surface? It looks like it's just stuck there. See, look, the everything's not changing. It looks like it's floating away like a balloon. Can I go Space Hunter? My last save state, last save was 43 minutes ago. 
cancel. Zoom flight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna F5. Quick save? No quick saving. So I'm burning Delta V here. These things are not changing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop recording here. Let's see. Uh, all right, and we are back. Um, I just reloaded the game. I basically Alt F4 out <coughs> and reloaded it. Um, and then I decoupled these engines before I got into the atmosphere. I actually had to go around an arrow break one more time. The, the last save was right before on the last arrow break. Um, put the landing gear down here. Landing gear. Hopefully that's enough landing gear. Um, ooh, turn point retrograde. Perfectly retrograde, please. Shoots. No, 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 no. Why are you flipping? Why are you flipping? Why are you flipping? Whoa! Okay. So we're gonna land upside down. Asteroid first. We're gonna land on our asteroids. So let's get surface. So I can get my numbers here. Once we get to the terrain, 250. 25.5. 25.50 I think is when the next shoots open. And then after that it's like 1,000. Just a little bit of time warping. New, 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 new. Okay, and out of time warp. We're gently just gonna let this thing drift to the ground as we ride it, basically. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Next ones are at a thousand. Maybe a little higher than a thousand. So I'll let it go till about fifteen hundred and then. Fifteen hundred ish, sixteen hundred, whatever. I'm looking over here if you didn't know. Oops. Yeah. Oh well. Let's just hope that uh, at least this this stays attached here. This all could break off and fall. I don't care. As long as the asteroid stays in one piece and the command pod stays in one piece, I'll be happy. Last parachute should be opening. Guess I can put the landing gear down, don't really need that. And shoots. Whoosh. There we go. So we're looking at about 11 meters per second collision with the ground whoa easy there we're landing in a quote unquote forest like a mountain over there or maybe that's like a nebula I don't know come on let's bring it down 400 from the from the surface 300 200 and I'm hoping all these support things will also in case I tip over it'll just kind of hold me in place we give me a big impact Oh, oh! All sorts of explodey things. But like I said, the supports—they protected me. We're sliding down the hill. We stopped. We're stopped. We did it. We landed an asteroid. Yeah. 
Um, don't really want to EVA these guys because there's no real way for them to get back in. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Actually broke a landing leg off here. It's the only landing leg that broke off, and then all these parachutes broke off, and I think that's it. I think everything else is just fine. Uh, RCS does not work that well on the ground here. Can't spin us or anything. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please click like down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos like it. I am Golgothan. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.